Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the build guide and how exactly uh, you need to build uh, Raiden MK1 Raiden, not MK1 actually. I'm sorry, uh, Mortal Kombat Raiden. All right, guys. So let's move on. Uh, let's move on. I just recently upgraded all the pieces of gears to uh, level seventy plus, and a couple of them are at level eighty two. Uh, so yeah, you know, we're going to take a look at the build guide real quick and uh, see how exactly he needs to be built. All right, guys. So before we get into that, <clears throat> you know, I just wanted to let you know that if you are new to the channel and if you're watching this video for the first time, I would like to ask you to please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this. All right, guys. So Raiden is an arcane character. He has been reworked, refactored. And he uh, he is basically doing a lot of damage after that. He was completely worthless, you know, before. Uh, but now after the rework, he is starting to doing he's starting to do uh, some good damage. All right, guys. So uh, the look overall has not been changed. Uh, it's the same thing. Even the look after we upgrade the gears to uh, level sixty, you know, the gear effects that we call is also the same. It's not changed. All right, guys. So I have, I think I have already upgraded the uh, specials over here. Uh, the passives are also maxed out. So this is one thing uh, that is very useful when it comes to Raiden. Plus, we got a couple of other extra passives that have been added. So Elder Shock affects stagged out opponents and deals fifty percent heroes attack stat <clears throat> as damage. I'm sorry. Uh, additional strike for opponents a each two empty power bars. Plus 1.2 starting power bar per arcane team. And this was the only thing that he had before. Uh, Mortal Kombat team additional 60% damage buff for each opponent's empty power bar. So it's it's pretty simple actually. You know, the more you power drain, the more that power bar of the opponent is empty. You know, uh, the more damage Raiden will do. As simple as that. Uh, Raiden will give, give additional damage buff for Mortal Kombat team depending on opponent's empty power bars. You know. So make sure when you're playing with Raiden, you just keep power draining uh, the opponent. Plus Raiden can power drain himself, as you can see over here. So uh, I know that 50 plus combo meter is a bit too high to get. Uh, but yeah, I think you can easily get 30 combo meter if you have built Raiden in the right way. So uh, now, talents is the first thing that we're going to take a look at. Now there are some common effects over here, uh, but we're going to try to reroll them to rare ones. Uh, all right, so the first uh, thing that we need in talents are three critical, I'm sorry, uh, four, actually, four critical attack chance. All right, so let's see if we have them. One, two, three, and four, and actually five, actually. We do have five critical attack chances, and then apart from that, we need two defenses. So we have one defense. We just need to reroll uh, these, one of these two talents to get in a rare defense, maybe. So let's do that. Okay. So I don't have a lot of coins uh, at this point, but I think this this is enough to at least get uh, one defense talent over here. Uh, 352k. Uh, yeah, it should be enough. Okay, there we are. Come on, one defense should not take long. Ah, all I'm getting is health and resistance. Ah, there we go. Now it's a common one, yes, I know. Uh, but if I sit over here re-rolling these talents, trying to get a rare talent, probably it will take me a very long time. And I don't want to bore you guys, you know, uh, just watching me reroll this uh, now, every now and then. All right, guys, so the talents are pretty simple. Uh, four critical attack chance, two defenses on on the seventh talent slot. Uh, on the seventh talent slot, you need to add 50% uh, critical attack damage. Now, that 50% is when you add a legendary talent on uh, the seventh talent slot. All right, guys, now let's move on uh, into the gears section over here. All right, there we are now. Uh, the gear build is also very simple. The gear effects are also very simple, but it's it's kind of difficult to get 
because what we need is uh, 10 rare uh, 10 attack stats so let's see if i have 10 attack stats over here now there are some commons as well so one attack two three three attacks so i, I may read all this uh, a little bit so let's just count them first so there was one two and three four five six not going to count the fourth one for now that was six seven eight nine and ten ten attack stats and we need four fast attack chance after that so i think i had one over here yeah one fast attack chance is over here one over here which makes it two nothing over here three and four all right and at the end uh the remaining slot uh which will be critical attack damage and there it is critical attack damage so let's reroll this fast attack chance a little bit you know and, and the other talents as well you know we're going to try to get uh, some rare uh effects over here because a uh, common ones uh, uh you know they're not that huge even the rare ones are not that huge but it gives a little bit of a difference it makes a little bit of a difference uh when it comes to the damage so i've always been saying in my previous videos too that try to get uh, rare effects instead of common ones because it will help you to get that extra bit of damage you know throughout the fight all right so uh, yeah it might take me uh, some time to get these uh, stats on the effects on let's see fast attack chance is what we need I do have uh, two fast stack chants which are rare and two which are common. So let's reroll them. Okay. You know what, guys? I maybe I think I should edit this part. You know, instead of getting a rare fast stack, I did get a rare attack. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put a rare fast stack on a on different uh, effect. Uh, on a different attack effect so we overall now i have uh 11 attack stats so just need to reroll this one to get uh, another fast attack okay all right there we go uh there we have a rare fast attack chance so everything is in back in order now 10 attacks and four fast attack chance so let's reroll it again okay not something that i need already have a ref a, a ref cd okay there we go another rare fast attack chance this is going nice actually I'm actually glad that I decided to do these rerolls. Uh, and it is it is kind of working out. You know, I just need to get a few more uh, rare attack stats and we'll be good to go. There we go. There we have one. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I, I don't have these epic uh, reforges. So let this, let's get this piece of uh, effect on rare attack too. okay uh there we have it another attack which has been converted from common to rare so we got four fast attack chances uh all in uh, rare effects just a few of the talents uh, i'm sorry a few of the effects are attacks which are not uh, in rare form all right guys so this is taking a little longer than expected so i'm going to reroll this later maybe because i got a lot of rare uh, attacks actually 
and uh, yeah there are there are two more so there are totally three more uh, common attacks that i have to reroll let's try this for a few times if i get it it's great if not then i'll just move on okay that's defense Okay, come on. Similar attack, similar effects are being uh, obtained every now and then. Okay, I already have fast attack chance. All right, it might take me a little longer. All right, guys, so yeah, you know, we, we do have, uh, we just need to reroll like three of these uh, effects from common to rare. Uh, we're gonna do that in a bit, but not like in this video itself. All right, guys, so again, uh, 10 attack stats, four fast attack chance, and one critical attack damage uh, should be the right winner. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Okay, so the seventh uh, talent slot is not yet unlocked. So that's the reason the critical attack damage is a bit on the lower side. Uh, fast attack chance is maxed out. Uh, defense is there. Uh, CAC is almost maxed out. Uh, this is there is no need for this, but I think we have it uh, through the fourth uh, gear effect. All right, guys. So I guess that's about it for the video. You know, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, and let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, have a great day. Take care and have a good one, guys. Bye bye.